What's up y'all, this is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry where we discuss software engineering by example. In this video we will discuss a new, brand new, shiny stuff that is in the JavaScript language and it's called JavaScript modules and the extension of these files are MJS. It's brand new stuff that the browser recently started to support, I think in 2018, late 2018. All right, and then we will start, we'll, we'll learn about it because if there's something new in this language, it's a beautiful language, we want to learn about it, we want to know how, how to use it, what's the benefit of that, right? So traditionally, guys, what we have done all this time is, is you might want to have an index.html file, an HTML file, and you have scripts, right? Okay, and then scripts, JavaScript files, and in the script in the HTML starts to grow large and large, and you start having a way you don't have a way a consolidated way of breaking this into nice libraries and modules gives you that right you can obviously you can separate that into JS files but if you import it you don't have control at what you are importing right you import everything sometimes you want only part of the files okay Let, let's just jump into code how about that guys so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here let's call it Josh modules just brand new folder I'm using Visual Studio code best editor ever okay and then um, let's go ahead and create an index dot html here and then i'm gonna go ahead and just do a boilerplate html5 tab that will create me nice html5 code right okay or you just you can just add html head and all that stuff right let's just call the javascript modules and then traditionally what we have done is we have this right we have a script let's say we have an array of one two three four okay that's right you basically write code here or you might have a function right then you say alert hey this is a test right a function that does something right sometimes you might have a class clash anime for example constructor name and then you do like this dot name equal name and then you say like for example this uh, i don't know get name that things return uh, beep, beep, uh return hey my name is beep, uh, name this dot name right so that's this is a classic javascript code right guys and uh if i called test here right this will execute when I basically spin up the server let's go ahead and spin up the server here so I'm gonna go ahead and spin up terminal HTTP server dot or you can do it from the command terminal I'm gonna reference the video that we did uh, and how to spin up a web server it's very simple stuff just to host our static files which is in this case literally one file all right so let's go ahead and do localhost 8080 right and then uh, let's do that refresh hey this is a test because that's what we executed right simple stuff all right so it's very basic stuff okay because we call this function and we started doing that stuff right and then you can you can call test and you can for example do i don't know like a, a const e so, since this is a class it should be capitalized right so const enemy equal new enemy then you say i don't know alien right and then you say alert uh, enemy dot get name for example right that's very simple stuff right and then we can do like uh, let's just refresh that thing refresh this is a test then once we do that we get an error because I misspelled anime I don't know how to spell apparently <laughs> right and then uh, we'll get to modules guys we'll get to that but we have to show that the basic stuff first all right now my name is alien all right good all right basic stuff right we know that stuff all right how do we do how do we now move to a javascript module a javascript module is essentially you create a new file all right and let's call it test.mjs right it's always uh ends with mjs so that's a mod um, javascript module okay and then let's say i will start very simple I want to expose my my test function. 
okay you so what you do is literally you cut this function you paste it here but that's not enough right that is not enough when you do that when you specify a function you can expose a function you can expose class you can expose just bare variables and we're going to talk about that but in order to do that you have to follow it up with the word export and export is recently recognized in browsers right not all browsers uh, support javascript modules and we're going to talk about that as well and how to handle cases where browsers don't support javascript modules okay so function test and then let's let's try that so if i go back to my index and if we have to do some stuff here okay and the stuff is right first we need to import okay and the way to import this is you do this import then you do curly then the exact name of the function test right you have to say that right test from and then you do dot test.mjs that means from this location which is the same location as as whatever this is right so that should be it so let's go ahead and and then when, once we have the test essentially we just call it right we just call that function so that's, that's good should work so let's see what will happen here so if I do enter, we did not get anything. Essentially, we got we actually got an error. What is that error? What's going on here? The error says, says, hey, what the heck is this curly braces? Curly braces are not recognized in 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 browsers as a regular script. It's weird, right? It has to be like as a class or as a function, but this, something like that is not recognized. So the reason is because this, the original classic script doesn't recognize that. You have to add a type and the type called module. You have to say that. Once you say script type equal module, then all of this stuff is rosy, right? So let's go ahead and Ringa ringa rosy, baby. And look at that. Look at that. Works. Right? Everything works now. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, just debug. So if we do that, like, see, I actually got that test.module.js, right? So that's that's one way of doing things. Okay. Let's try to expose. So we expose a function. Let's try to expose a class, guys. So how do we do that? Cut and paste, guys. Cut and paste. But don't forget, remember if, if, if you even notice, like, I don't know if you can see it from YouTube. I try to do this as high uh, high uh, definition, but it's lighter color. That means nobody can see it unless you actually export it, right? And and that's, there is a lot of use cases where classes can be internal and code can be internal, but you don't want to load everything. You don't want the client to load everything. You want to load only certain portions of those modules. Right, and there are a lot of cases where you want to do that to basically to to lazy load things only when you need it. Okay, so same thing. Uh, now that now that we have done enemy, we have to actually import it, guys. Right? Import. How do we do that? Enemy from dish um, yes. Very simple stuff. Right. So let's see if this works now. Sometimes. The browser start caching stuff, so does not provide. Yep, it, it makes sense because it doesn't it doesn't know that I actually loaded that thing, right? So let's go ahead and uh, let's do test.mjs. So sometimes you have to do that in order to actually refresh this thing. Now that we have refreshed, hey, we got that and we got the enemy class rolling and everything is rosy. All right, nice. You can even if you want to, you can even expose arrays or variables. You can export pretty much anything, all right? So if you do like const ar, same thing, right? This is an array, like a global variable, right? Something like that, right? If from the test.mgs, and you can do that stuff, all right? This is, so this is, this, this is the code in the browser, guys, right? Uh, let's do like, I don't know, let's do that alert. Maybe just do console.log instead, right? Okay, let's try that, guys. Right, same thing because we didn't do that. Test.mjs, refresh. Now we're exporting that. Refresh, 
and this is a test. My name is Alien, and we should get one, two, three, four because we just exposed that stuff. Now my index.html is much cleaner, right? And because I'm using modules, right? Final thing we want to discuss here is is what if my browser does not support modules, right? How do I do that? How do I tell old browsers, hey, old browsers, you suck, all right? How do I do that, okay? To do that, you add a nice script in the header, and you say in the script, no module, right? And then you specify a source for a JavaScript file, things that old browsers understand. Okay, let's say, I don't know, fallback or, or you can do this like fall uh, error.js whatever right you can call it and then and then you have to create this error.js file okay and you say basically once this loads says uh, your browser does not support javascript modules what century is this okay so this is what we want right JavaScript modules, and, and I actually downloaded an old Java, Firefox just to test this, just to show you how to, this works. Because now, if I go to 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 Chrome, that Chrome doesn't Chrome is a, I have the latest Chrome, right? But my Firefox is so old, I did not update it just to make this video, guys. This is how much I like you, right? So let's do that. Eighty, eighty, and we got this. <laughs> All right, so th obviously we don't have that. I, I think at one point even Firefox told me, hey, please update me. You are critically, yeah, I got this message, like you're critically out of date or something. I uh, I, don't, I don't get it anymore. That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think I think that's it. That's it for me today. Right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, so this this is the this code is slightly different if you want to use it in in the browser versus in Node.js, right? And I'm not gonna make the Node.js video yet because you have to do like module that exports. I don't like that. I think the developers on Node are working on the ES ES six version of that to make it. Ag uh, agnostic with the with the browsers to make it exactly the same, right? I don't, I don't want to make things different. I want to use because eventually this is what we want to do, guys. We want to make one JavaScript file, a JavaScript module that I can use in my browser and I can use in my Node application, in the server and the client. This dream will eventually come true, guys. It will eventually come true. I don't want to use like libraries like Bible or whatever, right? I, I don't like to bloat my code with stuff other than the vanilla javascript all right guys uh that was our, that was our video today i'm gonna link the the index uh whatever uh this git repo for you guys and uh if you have any question let me know if you if i if i made if i missed anything please tell me guys like, i'm not perfect i'm just learning all this technology as we um, we're learning together right the whole thing is new to me and uh i, I just enjoy this make, making these video for you guys because i I forget so I come back to these videos and this is oh this is how I did it right so it's like when it's fresh in my head I like to make videos and I like that and uh, and just like to benefit everybody right uh, alright guys I think that's it for me today hope you enjoy this video and I'm gonna see you in the next one consider subscribing we have a lot of cool tutorials we have a lot of cool software engineering by example we talk about proxies and stateful applications from the back end to the front end to to c sharp to javascript to architectural decisions and architectural uh, uh cool stuff in the software engineering paradigm all right guys I, enough blabbing. <laughs> I'm gonna sign out. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.